Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about something that is kind of negative. I feel like a lot of the past videos have been more negative in their tone, and I don't want to give the impression that I'm not enjoying Halo Infinite, because again, I am enjoying, I think it's fun, the, the core gameplay loop is there. But before we get into that, if you guys want to, make sure you leave a like on the video. It helps me in YouTube's algorithm because YouTube hates me. And if you also want to help even more, go ahead and throw a sub on the channel. I'm grinding away towards 10k. Wouldn't it be cool for you to be able to say that I was here before 10k? Anyways, I think that Halo Infinite has a content problem. Now, I'd like to think that I kept my expectations in check before the game came out. There were a bunch of leaks and stuff before it was coming out. One of the leaks said there would be like 20 some maps, when in fact we have 10 total maps, three of them are BTB and we haven't been able to play three of them for a while. And then seven regular maps where you can play, you know, in quick play or slayer or whatever it is. The game also launched with a limited set of playlists from, you know, quick play, ranked and big team battle. That really stunk. I understand the fear of not wanting to split up the population, but the game, you know, just launched. There was over 500,000 people playing across Steam and Xbox. That seems like the time that you would have the most playlists available, find out what people want to play the most, and then if you need to, whittle it down from there. Going from that playlist issue, I think that they're missing a lot of the casual and social aspects of what Halo is. We finally have Fiesta added, but there's no infection, no griff ball, the lack of forge and, you know, the custom games not saving and whatnot, so you can't even play them with your friends is a huge issue. It just feels like there's no way to, to enjoy the game at a casual level. Another big issue is I watched a couple people stream, you know, the end of Halo 3's life since they shut the servers down on 360, and those games just felt so different back then. They were so more social, like the pre game lobby everybody's emblems and stuff you can like scroll through the character there's lobby chat to me that that is content and halo infinite just kind of throws you into the game you don't really get to i don't know see other people's spartans until the little load up menu where you're punching and cracking your one knuckle you also have to requeue after every match and i'm not sure i really like that but anyways it was just seeing how these old games released and how much of a social aspect was included as for the events that we've gotten in Infinite, I mean, I don't know. They're free, so that's cool. You know, the having the Fiesta Tenrai playlist is, I guess, cool. I don't know. I think that I expected more. When I hear events in live service games, I have a standard in my brain of what that means, and these are not really events. You know, Winter Contingency you just logged in and played a game. It could be against bots. That's not really an event to me. That's not really something to be excited for or hyped about. And again, I know before everybody starts slamming me that, you know, the game just launched. It's, you know, the first season and stuff. And that's another thing is that the first season lasts six months. That stinks. We can also talk about the armor customization and how for, you know, years, literally a year before the game had come out, we were told that there would be reach levels of customization. There's tons of customization. There's tons of free customization. There will be premium unlocks, you know, in the store battle pass blah 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 there will be skill unlocks and like the only thing that we get for skill i guess is the onyx and diamond ranks like there's no i don't know there's just no content and my big fear is that you know while people like to play halo for halo there were so many new players to the game you know that that downloaded they were having fun and then they're like well what do i do maybe not all of them have maxed out the battle pass but i know a lot of people who got onyx and they're just like well what do i do now and there's nothing in the battle pass to really entice them to keep playing so they've moved on i think that that's you know kind of how gamers look at things in 2022 yeah the game can be fun you could want the aspect of getting better at the game but when there's real no reason to keep playing there's no incentive there's nothing to unlock then why wouldn't you just move on to a game that does have those things i do believe that first impressions are everything while infinite got you know raving reviews from media outlets and whatnot there was definitely some critiques from large content creators and i think that a lot of them are valid going back to the campaign and pve side of things once you've 
you know, beat the game, there's no mission select. Once you've unlocked all the operating bases and defeated all the high value targets and all that stuff, there's like no reason to really go back. It's not like previous Halo games where you could, you know, speed run or pick your favorite mission or whatever. And I think that definitely hurts replayability with the the campaign side of things. And man, I really wish that there was like a firefight mode or, you know, take a a, a page from Destiny's book and do something like a strike where, you know, maybe certain missions you can run through with the fire team, amp the difficulty up, maybe have a chance to get a weapon skin or an armor coating or a nameplate or something. Because I do think that there are, are a ton of players like that. And as much as, you know, we complain about Destiny and stuff like that, it really captures two different audiences and throws them into the same world and kind of, you know, mixes and matches, you know, if I want to go play PvE, I go play PvE, and then, you know, if I get bored, I go play PvP or something. It's it's definitely not perfect, but it's it, it works. You know, people play the game, play both sides of it. Now, Halo isn't a looter shooter, obviously. You can't really go grind for a different role on your BR or whatever, but that's where the cosmetic side of things should come in, is offer those kind of rewards for doing well. We have a couple more events, kind of, I guess they're leaked events coming up, uh, including the Showdown, Cyber Showdown, I forgot what it's called actually. But it's basically like the neon, blue, pink, and you know, black themed stuff. And while that looks cool, I think that we're supposed to get King of the Hill. That's awesome. I definitely want to see how that game mode plays out in Halo Infinite. There also looks to be a new game mode called Attrition, where, you know, if you've ever played Trials of Osiris, you get, you know, a certain amount of lives. You can revive people, but there's also what looks like a zone that closes in on the map to force people from not, you know, camping and stuff. So that's kind of cool. We'll see how that plays out. But really, I think that people, they're not fatigued of playing the game they just want reasons to play they want something to grind for and with no progression system i think that's another huge misstep you know having a reason to play games and stuff i've reached 100 on the battle pass and i don't get anything now for you know playing the game or getting experience or anything like that and it stinks please let me know your comments down below how you feel about the game right now if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i will catch you in the next one peace